How Golf Balls Are Made Golf, a sport with origins in Scotland, has evolved into one of the most popular recreational activities globally. In the United States alone, over 24 million individuals engage in this sport, with more than 8,000 professionals among them. Golf tournaments attract a significant number of spectators and have been widely broadcasted on television since the 1960s. The sport's popularity has even led to the establishment of a dedicated cable channel and numerous computer games focused on golf. The objective of golf is to use a variety of clubs to drive a small ball into a sequence of either 9 or 18 holes, traversing a course designed with numerous obstacles and achieving this in as few strokes as possible. Players are allowed to carry up to 14 clubs of different shapes, sizes, and lengths to navigate the course. The standard golf ball in the United States measures a minimum of 1.68 inches, 4.26 centimeter, in diameter, while the British counterpart is slightly smaller. A typical golf course features 18 holes distributed over a landscaped area that incorporates various hazards, such as water bodies, sand traps, bunkers, and trees. The difficulty of the course is heightened by the varying distances between holes. Each hole's play begins at the tee area, where players drive the ball into the fairway. The length of each hole can range from approximately 150 to 600 yards, 135, 540 meters. Successful players can drive the ball more than 200 yards, 180 meters from the tee and approach most holes with fewer than three shots. The end of the hole, known as the putting green, is where the ball is putted into the hole or cup to complete the play. Golf is usually played in groups of two to four people who navigate the course together. The ball must be played from its resting place, except under specific circumstances. In stroke play, the total number of strokes used to move the ball from the tee to the hole is recorded as the player's score for that hole. The player with the fewest strokes to complete the course is the winner. In match play, scores are compared after each hole, and a player wins, loses, or ties, halves, each hole. Each hole has a designated number of shots, par, required to reach it, typically based on its length. A birdie is achieved when a player scores one stroke less than par on a hole, while an eagle represents a score two strokes under par. A hole-in-one occurs when a player drives the ball into the hole with a single stroke. The golf ball market is a significant industry, generating around $550 million in annual sales, with over 850 million golf balls manufactured and shipped each year. Modern golf balls are constructed in two or three parts. Two-piece balls, made of rubber and plastic, are favored by casual golfers for their durability and account for 70% of all golf ball production. In contrast, Three-piece balls, used primarily by professional golfers, consist of a plastic cover, rubber thread windings, and a core that may contain gel, liquid, often sugar, and water, or be solid. The dimple pattern on the ball's surface enhances its flight performance. Golf ball design is intricately tied to the patterns and configurations of dimples on its surface. The most common dimple patterns found in modern golf balls include the icosahedral, dodecahedral, and octahedral arrangements. Each pattern is based on specific polyhedral shapes. Icosahedral pattern. This pattern is derived from a polyhedron with 20 identical triangular faces, akin to a 20-sided die. Some golf balls feature an icosahedral pattern with as many as 500 dimples. Dodecahedral pattern. This pattern is based on a polyhedron with 12 identical pentagonal faces. Octahedral pattern. This design utilizes an eight-sided polyhedron with triangular faces. The general principle in golf ball aerodynamics is that a higher number of dimples, typically around 0.15 inches, 0.38 centimeter in diameter, improves the ball's flight characteristics. Impact of dimple size and depth on performance. 
The size and depth of the dimples play a crucial role in determining the flight and behavior of a golf ball. Shallow dimples. These create more spin, which increases lift and keeps the ball aloft longer. Consequently, the ball has a higher trajectory and less roll upon landing. Deep dimples. These generate less spin, resulting in a lower trajectory and more roll after hitting the ground. This is beneficial for achieving greater distances on low shots. Small dimples. Provide lower trajectory and better control, especially in windy conditions. Large dimples. Result in higher trajectory and extended flight time, enhancing the overall distance. Customization and performance categories. Technological advancements have enabled manufacturers to tailor golf balls to suit different player needs, weather conditions, and specific course requirements. Golf balls are categorized based on performance attributes, distance, and durability, designed for maximum distance and longevity. Control and maneuverability, focused on precision and handling, distance and control, balanced for both long shots and accuracy. Slow club head speed, optimized for players with slower swing speeds. Within these categories, there are over 80 different models, each utilizing unique construction materials and designs. Regulatory standards by USGA. The United States Golf Association sets stringent rules for golf ball specifications, which include maximum weight 1.62 O's, 45.93 G. Minimum size ensuring the ball is not smaller than 1.68 inches, 4.26 centimeter in diameter. Spherical symmetry. The ball must be uniformly symmetrical. Initial velocity must not exceed 250 feet per second, 75 member s, with a maximum tolerance of 255 feet per second, 76.5 member s. Overall distance. The ball's carry and roll distance should not exceed an average of 280 yards, 84 minor, with a maximum of 296.8 yards, 89 minor. These standards are reviewed and updated annually, ensuring consistency and fairness in the sport. Evolution and materials in golf ball manufacturing. The market currently includes approximately 850 models of golf balls that conform to USGA standards. Recently, slightly larger balls, about 2% bigger, have been introduced. These balls feature softer cores and thicker, more durable covers, resulting in straighter and longer shots. Composition of golf balls. Two-piece balls comprise a solid rubber core with a thermoplastic ionomer resin cover. The rubber starts as a hard block, which is heated and molded into a sphere. Three-piece balls consist of a smaller solid rubber or liquid-filled center surrounded by rubber thread wound under tension and covered with ionomer or balata rubber. In the 1970s, the introduction of polybutadiene, a petroleum-based polymer, improved the ball's interior by providing more bounce. However, this material was initially too soft. Subsequent research at Spalding revealed that incorporating zinc could strengthen polybutadiene leading to widespread adoption of this reinforced material by other manufacturers. The production of golf balls, particularly the advanced three-piece variants, involves a highly intricate process. The complexity of manufacturing a three-piece golf ball requires over 80 distinct steps and 32 inspections, often taking up to 30 days to complete a single ball. In contrast, the simpler two-piece balls can be produced in approximately half the time and are ready within a day. Step 1. Creating the core. The core of a two-piece golf ball is formed through a process known as molding. This involves a blend of several chemically reactive ingredients that form a rubber-like compound. The application of heat and pressure results in a molded core, typically about 1.5 inches, 3.75 centimeters in diameter. Step two, forming the cover and dimples. In the injection molding process, the core is centered within a mold cavity using pins. Molten thermoplastic is then injected into the cavity surrounding the core. The combined effect of heat and pressure causes the cover material to flow and bond with the core, creating the dimpled pattern and final shape of the ball. Once the plastic cools and hardens, the pins are retracted and the finished balls are extracted. 
Step 3. Compression Molding for Three-Piece Balls Three-piece balls, due to their more complex structure, undergo compression molding. Initially, the cover material is injection molded into two hollow hemispheres. These hemispheres are then positioned around the core and heated. A mold then presses them together, fusing the cover to the core and forming the dimples. This method prevents distortion and breakage of the rubber threads within the ball. Step 4. Finishing the surface. After molding, rough spots and seams on the cover are polished off. The balls receive two coats of paint, applied uniformly by spray guns, while the balls spin on posts. Next, logos are stamped onto the balls. Finally, a clear coat is applied to provide a high sheen and scuff resistance. Step 5. Preparation for market. Once painted, the balls are placed in containers and moved to large dryers. After drying, they are ready for packaging into boxes and other containers, prepared for distribution. Quality control. Quality control in golf ball manufacturing is rigorous, involving various tests and inspections to ensure compliance with standards. X-ray inspections and compression ratings. Three-piece balls undergo X-ray inspections to ensure the centers are perfectly round. Compression ratings measure the resilience of compression-molded wound golf balls, though these ratings do not apply to two-piece balls. Instead, two-piece balls are evaluated using a coefficiency rating, which measures the coefficient of restitution by comparing initial and return speeds after the ball strikes a metal plate. Mechanical Testing and Performance Verification Golf balls are subject to mechanical testing to verify compliance with the United States Golf Association USGA, standards. Specialized equipment such as the True Temper Mechanical Golfer, Iron Byron, and the Ball Launcher is employed to simulate various playing conditions and measure performance metrics. Iron Byron, modeled after the swing of golf legend Byron Nelson, can be configured with any club and adjusted for different swing speeds. For standard testing, it is typically set up with a driver, 5 iron, and 9 iron. The ball launcher propels balls at varying velocities, spin rates, and launch angles, simulating diverse golfer profiles. Performance data collected include the apogee angle, carry distance, total distance, roll distance, and statistical accuracy area. The meticulous manufacturing process of golf balls, especially the technologically advanced three-piece variants, reflects the intersection of material science, engineering, and quality control. Each step, from forming the core to the final coating, ensures that golf balls meet the stringent performance standards required by professional and amateur golfers alike. Through continuous innovation and rigorous testing, Manufacturers strive to enhance the performance and reliability of golf balls, contributing to the evolution of this beloved sport. The sport of golf, with its rich history and widespread appeal, continues to be a popular pastime for millions around the world. The scientific principles underlying the design of golf balls and the strategic elements involved in gameplay contribute to its enduring allure. Whether for casual enjoyment or professional competition, golf remains a game that combines skill, precision, and a deep appreciation for the nuances of the sport. That's all the information that we have for you today. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's episode, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell so you never miss out on future episodes. And be sure to also tell us what you think about today's content. Everyone's support motivates us to continue delivering quality content and to always improve. As always, thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.